Hey! Hey guys, what's up? This is Abby, and I got these fountain pens from a Taiwan group on Facebook. These are pretty cheap, and it's an India fountain pen with a cervix body, but inside it's not any regular nib, but the vintage flex nib, uh, because the the seller actually said that he got this nib from a India stationery shop and the shopkeeper said that these nibs are from a Japan merchant, Japanese merchant long long time ago so it should be vintage. But the quality control is pretty diverse so I've got a needle point, not too flex, and a super flex wet noodle. I wouldn't say it's a super flex, but it's pretty flexy and has a large line variation. So let me show you the pros and cons of this pen. The pro is that this pen is non-tipped so that I can make needle point lines to a very broad line. So great line variation. The second thing is that it looks good. It looks pretty good to me. And the first thing, it's it has a vintage name, so it's pretty valuable. The cons are because it's non-tip, so it's pretty scratchy. And the second thing is that it's smelly. It's worse than noodlers. It smells like dead fish. Now my hands are full of the smell. The first thing is that the ink flow is not very consistent, so it railroads a lot. Let me show you how it works. So let me show you the needle point one. The paper I'm using is from a Taiwan paper seller uh, called Paperholic. This paper is really good. In my opinion, it's my favorite paper. Okay, yeah, let me show. It. Um, this one is not too flex, but that's okay. It has a needle point, so that drawing. It's perfect. It's perfect for artists. So I will call it the needle point one. Here comes the best part. The more flexy one. I measured how much it flexes. It's about 2 mm. Look, it railroad. 2 mm. It's 2 mm. This is just beautiful. This is just awesome. I love to show you how flexy it is. A close up. It really is 2M, M, but it loses the needle point because it's too flexy. And the needle point one. Now it's about just a, just an mm, one mm. Actually, you see that I have got lots of them, well, a lot because I help other people to buy it, and I dry run every pen, and I find that somewhere like one point five mm, some are even flexier than this. So, this is a rare pen 
I don't think you can get it anywhere. If you can, just tell me. I want to get more of these. These are awesome. So thank you for watching. And goodbye. Like and subscribe. This is stupid. <laughs> Sorry.